bunch of palings onto the paling fence. I've got a master here. You can see where I've lined up where the two screws need to be in the top and the one screw in the bottom. And what I'm doing, I've got a, a drill here. I'm pre-drilling these. I don't want these guys to, to split. I'm not bothering to pre-drill the pine. It's thick enough and tough enough. Um, so what happens, I actually get a few of the undrilled boards and stick them on here. Get them perfectly lined up. Height, length, everything else. And then put this one back on top and uh, then I drill my holes through. So they all end up exactly the same. And what it means is the finished job, they're all gonna be in line and in the right spot. And it's gonna look fantastic. As long as you've got your boards parallel and level, um, the holes will line up all the way across. So that's tip one. It also makes it a lot quicker and easier. Now, the big thing is have a master board that you're drilling with and then put him to the side, go and use those, bring your new ones and keep using the master. Otherwise, you might get a little bit of variance and you'll drift, 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 and they all be a little bit different. So just keep a master board as your top board. And then once you come over here, when it comes to putting it into place, we stick the board here. We've got our little predetermined 11 mil gap that goes into there like that. It sits in place. I am here by myself with one hand on the camera, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. I'm going to put the spirit level up on top as i mentioned before that can be a string line um, but for right now we're going to run with the spirit level at that point because i've got these holes pre-drilled i can put all of the screws in um, they just just twist into place so that they're all lined up ready to go now this is a a pre-cut plinth this is a 30 by 5 by 70 dressed pine rail that I've got going there, the screws that I'm using, yes they are chipboard screws, they've got a bigger more aggressive thread, you got all the details there, what are they, 8 to 10 by 50 mil, so 50 mil is um, 2 inches, that's the screws I'm using, now you can get special ones for treated pine because you're screwing in because the treated pine can tend to make your standard screws rust, um, but I had these and these are going to be absolutely fine, so all I've got to do now is um, lift this up and bring it up to touch here. Um, you can see you don't want the spirit level to lift because that'll take it out of level. So you just want to bring it up just to touch like that. That's perfect. Pulling in hard against that and then you can drive it in. I'll drive one screw in and show you how. Screws have a little bit of a bit at the end where there's no thread. The benefit of that I will show you right here right now as I drive this screw in um, it enables the board so in, in we go see it pulls up nice and tight and it pulls beautifully tight up against the board if it was thread all the time if there was a mill gap it would maintain that mill gap as you screwed it up but because you've got that little bit of um, smooth steel shank it doesn't grip so much in this board and it allows it to pull up tight so that really helps okay that's stage one Gap's right, height's right. Pull that down so it doesn't drop on your head. Pull that out. Now, down here, I've got a shorter stick. Poke him through from behind like that. Now, get your spirit level. Stick it on like that, hold it tight. And beautiful, it's level. So then, we do up that last beautiful. screw. It's in. I screw them so that they go just a little bit beyond flush. That way, if you're brushing or oiling, there's no catching or anything like that on them. Um, poke that little guy out. You can bring him across for the next one. And uh, there you go. In no time at all, you're gonna have that um, all beautiful.